Hello there, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Clearly I'm back home. Vacations are always so short, aren't they? <laughs> back to reality. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to be focusing on a tip that has to do with tables, more specifically table breaks. Now, on my screen, I happen to have a table and I wanna break it up into a series of columns, right? Easy enough. All I have to do is select the table and you'll see that there's a grip at the very bottom of that table and I can just select that grip. Sometimes it's a little tricky to grab. I'll give you a heads up on that. And you'll see as I move my cursor up, it's kind of giving me some idea what I'm gonna end up with, right? Let's move it like something like that, right? So now I have two different columns. If I take that and move it up even further, let's grab that one more time, move it up even more, you'll see at some point it throws in a third column, right? Now, I'm gonna hit an escape so you can get a good look at it. And you'll see that I only have the header on one of the columns, right? I probably want them on all of the columns. So how do I go about doing that? All right, let's go ahead and select our table one more time. I'm gonna go into properties, and as I drag the slider bar, I'm gonna go all the way down to the section that says table breaks. Now, if for some reason your grip doesn't show up on the bottom there, that's because you haven't enabled table breaks on that column, on, on, on that particular table. So no problem, all you have to do is come in here, right, and enable it. Now, I just got done talking about we want those labels to go across the top, right? So here's an option here for repeating top labels. So let me go ahead and select that and say yes. I want to repeat the top repeat the top labels. And when I do that, you'll see it actually put another column on there, right? Because it couldn't fit everything in the space that I'd already allocated for the for the length of those table breaks. All right, let's see what else we've got. And let me hit escape once again just so you can kind of see what's going on. All right. Let's go back into properties, grab that. Let's go back into properties, go all the way back down to table breaks one more time. And you will see down here, I have some other options as well. Let's jump down to the bottom spacing. Right now the spacing is 16.5. So what happens if I change that to 25? This is the spacing between the columns. Let's uh, change that to 25. I'll take a look on the screen. You'll see it moved them a little bit further apart. So you have control over the spacing. You also have control if you want to ma manually go in and tell it exactly how long you want those columns to be. And let's see, how about if I type in 100? So now it evenly spaced them at 100, and you'll see that added even an extra column, right? How about uh, maybe 150 would work better. Let's try that. Oh, now we're back to three columns, and it actually fits on our paper, which makes me happy. So if I come in here and I try to change the, the length of one of these individual columns, remember all of them are going to change. I like to be able to go in and maybe make one column longer than another one, to be able to manually control the length of them individually. No problem, I can go back into properties and you'll see that there's an option down here for manual heights, okay? So if I say yes, now watch the screen because you'll see as soon as I say yes, that two more grips showed up at the bottom of the two other columns. So I can come here and grab this and pull it up if I want to. Of course, that's going to affect the others because it still has to fit everything, you know, all of the columns in, but you can manually go in and you can make modifications that way. Make sense? All right, one other thing. If I decide that I want to move, you'll see if I try to, to individually move a column, they're all stuck together, right? They're one object. What I want to be able to do is to be able to individually move the columns around. Maybe that's something else I want to do. Okay, so one last thing I'm gonna point out as I move my cursor over back over to properties is you can also say manual positions and say yes. And now if I come up here, it doesn't look any different, but if I come in here, I can actually individually just move those columns. So that pretty well covered everything. Just one other thing I didn't mention was you can also repeat the bottom labels. Oh yeah, you also have control over the direction. That might be something else that you want. You said, I did it off to the right. Maybe you want those columns to go off to the left or to go down. So there's quite a bit of variety when it comes to table breaks. So if you haven't given this a try, be sure you do so. And also be sure to join me back here in two more weeks. Thank you so much for joining me.